good morning students do you know which topic are we going to do today development okay so it is a topic from uh, grade 10 economics textbook first chapter of grade 10 economics textbook and uh, let's start with today's work so if you are ready can we start not yes, just sir. in economics but also in your course of history and political science now what will this teach us like if i say my country is earning more let's say for example you know countries in middle east they are earning lot of money because of oil revenue so when the income of the country increases the we can say that they are economically developed how can we see development in history in political science in sociology it is interdisciplinary how can we say it is in history how can we judge the development in history yes we came up with new kind of inventions or even if we talk of architecture see during uh, pallava time or during pandya's time it was different during mughal times it was different during sultanate time it was different and today it is different so we can say or or if we say mohanjodaro you know you can say that okay in those days uh, mohanjodaro or harappa was having um, all these drainage system they were having street proper street system the town was divided into different parts so people were staying in different ways so they were developed for their time period they were developed and what we can learn from this development in today's world is how we can say that development is connected to history and how is it connected to political science who can tell me from democracy democracy okay so in a democratic country uh, in a democratic country every citizen has some aspiration from the government right every uh, every person feels that we have voted we have given this person a chance to come in power to form the government so we expect something from him so that aspirations are seen in the development of um, Man. yes Uh, in political uh, uh, political development, could we say that uh, the invention of new laws or the appropriate laws? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Now we are coming to one important thing. Just wait. If you have understood this, okay, then uh, the next point is development is a moving target. It is not stationary. It, I cannot say that okay, I wanted to achieve something in field of. Uh, like somebody said, okay, if in my country all the streets are having enough light. lighting system is proper it is a developed country somebody else may say that in my country there is no poverty in my country nobody goes hungry so mine is a developed country somebody may say my country is developed because it is military uh, you know the military of my country is very advanced or the technological system of my country is very advanced so that is the reason i'm calling my country as a developed country so you see that each person's idea about personal development or about the development of the country is different see the heading here what development promises is different to different people it is having different goals okay like for example let's say uh, if uh, if the government wants to build a dam okay now when i want to build a dam the government may feel uh, or an industrialist may feel good a dam is getting built we can save on water we can produce hydel electricity and because of that my industry will grow and i may earn lot of profit correct but is it a development for people whose land is taken to build that dam come on i'll give you a hint you have studied that in class 7 i said if the government decides to bring uh, build a dam okay of course a dam is built by taking some people's land correct what the government is feeling is that okay the electricity is ensured now my industrial uh, sector will grow and i my country will earn lot of profit or even the owner of an industry may feel the same but is it the same for the person whose land is being taken to build that dam for him is it development no no ma'am no why why no, are you saying that why why are you saying that ma'am may i yes it may be a loss for that person cause cause uh, suppose the the person like uh, he has a farm on which his life is on so then it would definitely be a correct loss. correct correct so um can you see the textbook all of you uh yes yes okay yes so now um what we were talking was what is a development for one person may not be a development for somebody else right for example uh, if uh, i am saying we gave an example of dam 
okay or let's take example of a farmer or a land owner who has huge lands and he is doing a uh, commercial farming on it and he wants to employ people on them his goal will be what to earn lot of money from it he doesn't want to spend money on his labor he he is looking for labor or laborers who can work at a very nominal money for him okay so he is saving back on his money he is going to get lot of economic gain from uh, the crops that he is going to grow but is it going to bring any development to the people who are working on his farm yes no just no it no, will not correct because the idea of development because for that person the goal of development will be what if i am able to earn more money only then my condition will improve right otherwise my condition won't improve correct if my condition improves then only i'll be able to say that i am having some development economic development or any development in my life see here how it is different for different people for example let's take landless rural laborers more days of work and better wages that is their goal okay if it is a prosperous farmer from punjab their goal will be what okay they should get higher uh, prices for their crops they should get cheap labor so that they can save back on their money and when they earn lot of profit they can send their children abroad to study okay same way what will be the goal for farmer who depends only on rain for growing farm or growing crops who can tell me what will be the goal for that farmer when can he say that he has become developed or his country has become developed ma'am if in the nearby area uh, there is a source of water if a new dam is uh, built there there is a development for him if uh, rain is not if the year there is no rain here he does not get any loss due to that fine so his goal of development is not if he gets lot of um uh, if he gets irrigation facility that is development for him what can be the goal for urban unemployed youth what can be his goal to get a good well paying job or at least if not a very well paying something which will still improve his standard of living a um, decent job okay okay what will be yes what will be the goal for a boy from a rich urban family the boy is rich he is staying in urban area that means he is staying in the city he comes from a well to do family what will be his goal of development can it be oh, to take oh. admissions to some good college or university of his choice yes, because even I he am. knows that even if he doesn't get very good marks his parent can uh, spend that much money to give him that uh, admission to that university can, uh, uh, he should develop uh, he should develop his business if uh, he, if he yes. has uh, early Okay. He If he wants business. to join the business instead of giving importance to education, yes, yes, that is development for him. So, have you understood the four important things that we learned right now? Was first and foremost, development is a complex idea. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it is interdisciplinary. Means it is not just uh, restricted to the economic part of it. It is not just restricted how much money I am earning. It is also uh, surrounded with many other factors so we are going to see which are those factors in a short while from now then it is related to uh, democratic and political aspirations uh, of the people and it is not a stationary target it is a moving target it it changes it keeps on uh, you you desire something more after of uh, after you have achieved something you desire something more because then that doesn't be, uh, become development for you you are already developed there so you want to add something more to that development so it doesn't remain constant you are constantly adding something to it it is changing okay so and most important thing it is different for different people okay and what may be development for me may not be development for somebody else uh am i clear in whatever i said or if you yes, have any doubts yes. you can ask me okay uh, no, 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 is no, it no. is it fine okay yes. so uh in fact at times two persons or groups of persons may see things which are conflicting uh, like what happens this is what we see in our everyday life a girl expects as much freedom and opportunity as her brother and that he also shares in the household work 
this is what as a girl everyone expects that what freedom my father or mother is giving to my brother i should also give the uh, i should also get the same if he is allowed to stay out till late at night even i should be allowed to do if if i have to do housework every day he also should have a share in it but her brother may not like that idea correct like or or the other example which i gave you about dams for an industrialist for a for a industrial minister it is a profit but for a tribal who has displaced because of that land who was asked to vacate his land for him that is not development okay so see here different persons can have different developmental goals and what may be development for one may not be development for the other it may even be destructive for the others what is that destructive what is the meaning of that sentence this last sentence how can it be destructive how can development be destructive when we are talking of development we are thinking of something uh, all of you have used the word improvement then why are we using the word destructive here how can it be destructive uh, ma'am uh, it, it may mean that uh, we may have uh, improvement in ourselves but the other may get loss or because of it yes exactly so if you are losing your land if you are asked to go out and find house somewhere else for you your uh, your life get disrupted your children's education gets disrupted so it is not a, a good idea for them okay now next important thing is income and other goals when we are talking of development the most important thing is income how much i am earning because that will decide uh, how uh, what my idea of development is like my first and foremost idea of development is if i am living in a one bedroom hall kitchen my first thing that i would want is i should have a better home okay i should have a bungalow then my bungalow should be well equipped with everything else so my standard of living should improve that is my idea of development right so for that i need money is it that income is the only goal of development or does it have any other goals also let us see okay so besides seeking more income one way or the other people also seek things like equal treatment freedom security and respect for others they resent discrimination these are some of the other important goals because we are living in a democratic country if i am getting like for example if i am um, i have applied for a new job i got a job okay my very first criteria for that job will be am i getting good money for it any one's first point will be that okay i'm getting good salary but when i have joined that institution am i getting equal treatment are the people ready to accept me open heartedly are the people going to listen to me are they going to respect me am i going to have the freedom to work the way i want okay this is all that also comes to our mind because if i am getting a good salary but i am not having any respect in my office people people just don't care okay he has just joined as somebody new let him be or let her be i am not getting any respect my dignity is violated i don't want that right i want development in all aspect okay is this clear so because material goods are not that you all need to live we need money definitely we need money to buy house to buy groceries to buy so many things but that is not everything in life you may have lot of money but you may not have love and affection of your loved ones you may not have a family so there are things which add to development which is called as mon- uh, which is called as materialistic and non materialistic okay so materialistic is money okay and non materialistic is all these respect love care friendship i may need all this to feel that i am uh, accepted by people and i can develop further because that will give me a positive uh, approach to my idea of development am i clear yes 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 so what have we added okay we have added that the goal of development is not just high income but it also consists of lot of uh, non materialistic things okay so uh, of course money is important for increasing the quality of our life but it also depends on non material things like your respect love etc so we can say that development is not just a goal, not just a materialistic goal it is 
a mix of goals is this okay now yes fine if in a if i have joined a office uh, as a woman i should get the same respect i should get the same security i should get the same payment all that is accepted and if i go back home i should have my family members who are willing to share the housework if all this is there then i can say that as a woman i have developed otherwise i have not correct hence there are other important things in life okay so it is a mix of goals all right yes. now let's go to national development okay uh, it is very important to keep in mind that different persons could have a different a uh, notion for a country's development as well what do you mean by that see here see this bold paragraph here it is very important to keep in mind that different persons could have different as well as conflicting notions of a country's development it can be like uh, every person has a, a, a different thought uh, to develop Correct, correct. Every person may have a different idea of what can constitute the development of his country. Like for me, I can say my country is very developed. If I am technologically very advanced, if my country is technologically very advanced, I may feel it is very developed. For somebody else, it may be that if my country is earning much, economically it is earning too high, then my country is developed. We have enough money to buy anything. Okay, or somebody yeah, else may feel yes, yes, or somebody else may feel like countries in Africa and all may feel that okay, if uh, none of my population goes hungry, um, you know, I am developed. For for each person, just as the idea of development differs, his goal of development differs, his idea about his country's development also is different. Okay. if there is no no illiteracy in India, a person in educational field may feel that good, we have achieved something, we have developed. okay so it means that um, basically just as individual goal is different for everyone the idea of country's development is also different for every individual okay now in that case how will the government decide whether the development is achieved for example in a country there are uh, say 10 crores of population 5 crores of population everyone may have a different idea at least 50% will have different ideas right yes. so how what the government should do should the government do 50000 different things 55 uh, crore different things so basically the government should do something which is of greater benefit for all the population are you understanding so if it is uh, it is of high benefit to my more than 50% of population more than 75% of my population then i can say that i have taken the correct decision and my country is on the path of development Is and it okay? government can uh, take seventy-five uh, percent ideas of, from the population, and then the rest. Yes. So can in in democracy, that is that is people's participation. That's why people's participation is very very important for them, right? So that is why I said that it is interdisciplinary. Government alone cannot decide, and all yes, this you have said it in your lower class. They need votes. Yes. So it is very important to keep in mind that different persons would have different as well as conflicting notions of country's development also. But the government will do that, which is of greater benefit to maximum people. Okay, so uh, can I assume that you have understood all the important concept? Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. Okay. So see you all tomorrow, and till then, read the chapter. It's in Grade Ten textbook, Chapter Number One. Okay. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.